No one wants Hamas or Taliban as its neighbor, not even Iran. The vast majority of the population struggling under the Taliban, or the Hamas, do not want them to be there. Remember the visuals of the people clinging to the American Air Force planes in Kabul. The protests in Iran that happened not so long ago. The cruelty of the Taliban to its own people. Or the aggressive suppression of the Iranian protests shows how all means to meet their ends are fair in their eyes, irrespective of what the religion preaches. As much as everyone hates these fundamentalist regimes, no one wants Israel to be their overlord. No, not a good idea. Israel has been practicing a repressive regime over millions of people in Gaza, making their existence appear more as an error in history, and their happiness a failure of the regime. So there, neither is good for the Palestinians, or in general for the human good, everywhere. The person on the street is looking for the same things, bread, bed, and happiness for them and their family. It is no different for Palestinians, so what could be done? Let me dare a suggestion. 1. Gaza should become a province under Israel with equal rights, access, and mobility for its population. They will be Israeli citizens with all the rights of an Israeli citizen. 2. They also get representation in the Knesset. That way, at least there will be some fair control over their future. This is not very dramatic to what Israel has today. There are Palestinians who live in Israel and are citizens of Israel. The increased Palestine population might remove the discrimination faced by the present Arab or non-Jewish population in Israel. The only group that will go off balance because of this might be the ultra-conservative Jews. They have been a disproportionate power group in spite of their relatively smaller size. The two million Gazans, which is about 20% of the Israeli population, will completely offset this minority. Just like fundamentalist in Islam or Christianity is not good, the same is true for the Jews. This will also neutralize a lot of other parties taking advantage of the Palestinian misery. Other countries in the Middle East can look at establishing a better and stronger relationship with the United Israel. At least then the West go back to acting normal and behaving like they are here for the betterment of all human beings, not just for the select few, whatever the case. The current model of master-slave existence is not working for the future of Israel and Palestine.